Well, spring has clearly sprung, uh, and uh, a lot of people getting outside, perhaps with your four-legged friend in tow. But with the warm weather, it also brings out some ticks. Mm -hmm. NBC5 Sid Bule is live in South Burlington tonight with advice for keeping every member of your family safe. Sid? Yeah, Liz, Stu, despite the rain, getting out on a hike or a walk at a park like this with your dog or cat, if you choose, can be a lot of fun. But health officials are saying you need to be careful with ticks as they're coming out with the warm weather. We've seen on the Vermont Department of Health website that the, the numbers are already starting to increase. With warmer temps getting many of us outside, ticks are back too, especially the black-legged deer ticks, which can carry illnesses like Lyme disease. You really want to be careful when you're out in high grass or in the leaves or in woods to make sure you take tick, tick precautions. The Vermont Department of Health says to protect yourself from tick-borne illnesses, you should wear long sleeve shirts, pants, and high socks when you go outside. Then check your whole body when you come back in, and remove ticks as fast as you can, and then watch for any symptoms if you do find one on yourself. It's one of the common ways that people get bitten are your animals go outside, bring a little tick in with them that drops off and attaches to a person in bed or on the couch. In fact, Vermont's Department of Health says you're more likely to find a tick on you if you have a pet, and you should keep your eyes peeled when they come back inside. There are actually several studies out there, one in particular I know of that, um, that show that pet owners or pets who sleep with their, their dogs and cats or you know, sit on the couch with them um, are more likely to find ticks crawling or attached on themselves. Which is why the state recommends talking to your pet's veterinarian about tick prevention products. We do want you to speak with your veterinarian to, to talk about uh, what what proper tick prevention products you might want to use for your dogs and cats. And many of those prevention products can be found at your local pet store with a mix of name brand and generic products. I do a topical. I started the one of the natural ones this year, tried that out. So far so good, only one tick, but we are out almost every day. Um, and then on top of that, I like to use a natural spray that I can spray on herself as well as me, which is really nice, nice and safe. Now, again, to find out what products are best for your pet to stay safe, the state is encouraging you to speak with your veterinarian, and then you can go to the pet store if you'd like some additional advice, too. Live in South Burlington, Sid Bule, NBC5 News.